Christmas buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to do a three-way tuck with an envelope. But first, a shout out to Joyce, Anita, Jane, Nancy, Ricky, Cecilia, and Ofra. I appreciate each and every one of you. Alright you guys, let's get started. What I have here is a beautiful piece of uh, cardstock. It came this way. It came out of a book, and I'm sorry, uh, the books are so old, I have no idea. Some of the pages are mixed up with other pages, and you know how that goes. But get yourself a beautiful piece that you enjoy. And then what I did was I cut it to fit my little tiny envelope. I made it so there's just a little space around the envelope. So it's going to depend on what size your envelope is, what size this is going to be, right? Right. So then what I did was I ran it through my Sysix, my, my embosser folder right here. And it turned out so beautiful. I hope you can see that on camera. So beautiful. All right. So then I got my little tiny envelope in which I had coffee dyed earlier. And I opened it up completely and I lined it with a color or a print that blends, goes well with what I chose for my base. Then I inked all around and I shut it back like this and I ran it through my embossing folder just like that. Ran it right through. Okay, so now we have our base. Now, with what I want to stick in here, I am concerned that it's not going to go in smoothly. And I don't like struggling when you've got stuff and you're trying to journal and you're working with stuff and you're struggling. I don't care for that. I want it to go in smoothly. So I think, I'm hoping, that this idea will work. I cut four strips the same size as the length of my envelope. Just thin because you also have to consider that whatever you put in there is probably going to have to be this width right here. So let's glue these I'm going to glue, let's just say, I'm going to glue these two together and these two together. Then I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners of my base. Then, oh, and I'm going to ink. I'm going to round and ink, glue these two and these two together. Then I'll be back. Okay? Okay. Okay, I've got those things finished. Now, if you can see, there is a little bit of Mm, yumminess right here. It kind of looks like it's coffee dyed. I want to put that, I want that to show. So I'm going to move that right up there on the top. And then I'm going to take the, the, actually it's the front side of my envelope because we're going to attach it down this way so you can open it up. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and glue this on here and this on here. Okay, so why I do that, I'm going to tell you about that big giveaway we have coming up. I am putting together 10 separate items. So there will be 10 pieces to be given away. It is a big giveaway. And I want everyone to be able to participate in the giveaway and have a chance of winning one. And with 10, instead of just having one, your chances are raised greatly that you may win one of the pieces that I'm giving away. So please subscribe. I would love for you to join us in our giveaway. And it is coming up soon, guys. Okay. So we've got this glued down like that. And I'm going to trim right here and I'm going to trim right here there we go okay 
So now we're back to our base and I am going to glue this on so I have a little bit of space here and I have a little bit of space here. I'm not gluing the top, I'm just gluing these three sides right here. So I'm going to put that down there and that down there and this down here. All right, whoopsie. And here we are. That's about correct, I do believe. Just kind of eyeballing that. I'm going to hold it down for just a second. So let us now move on Why this gets stuck. Let's move on to our decoration. Now when I took this envelope apart, can you see it got frayed right there when I pulled this part up? But we don't have to worry about that because we're going to decorate it and that will go away and no one will know but you and me. Okay, so I'm going to glue this part down. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. Not a lot, just a little bit. I just need a little. Okay. Now what I have for this spot here is I have a label. I thought this would be nice. I am going to bring this down so I don't accidentally decorate and then it will be covered up with my flap. I have a label. I have a pretty little butterfly. And I have a little piece of some paper that's going to be incorporated into this project. So I'm going to ink these up real quick and then we'll glue them down. Alright you guys, so now we're going to glue our little butterfly right at the top so when you open up the envelope you see it right away. We'll make sure that's the top. Yes, that's the top. See it right away. And this little piece, which is, actually I think I'll put it at the bottom. So get a little glue on here. I was going to put it at the top, but I think it needs a little weight at the bottom. So I'm going to put it right here. Just like that. See if I am over just a smidgen. Tiny bit. Okay. So this is going to go right inside of here. Just like that. Oh, this is coming together nicely. So nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's work on what's going to go down inside here. So what I did was, this is where this, this pattern is coming from. The pattern that I used here and the pattern that I used at the bottom of our little pullout for our envelope came from this paper right here. And I just cut it to fit in. Now we're going to have to check because it might not fit now that I put that in there. Yes, I need to, to uh, cut that just a smidgen. Let's see if it fits in here. I don't want to cut too much, but I'm going to cut just a tiny bit. Now let's see if that goes in. It was a whole plan is to see if I could get it in nicely. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Okay. There we go. Pushes right in. Just like that. Okay. I'm thinking I might want it a little bit shorter. Just a tiny bit shorter. Yes. I like how that looks. Now, we need to ink around the edge and we need to round the corners. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, I'm not sure if I said that I lined this with coffee dyed paper. I'm not sure if I said that or not, but I did. Alright, so it's inked, it's rounded on the corners, and we're going to slip that right down in there. It goes pretty, pretty smoothly. Don't have to argue with it too much. And let's see here. I think what I'd like to do is I would like to decorate the inside. So let me pull in some pieces here that I have with my cutter back. And I have torn some of the pages or some of the print from what I've used here, here, and on the bottom of our enclosure for our envelope. I tore some more strips so that we can use them in here. And I need to ink them. All right, so I've got that all inked and let's go ahead and let's glue this on the inside. I'm gonna have to trim it just a little bit, I think. And this side. Okay. Oops, I didn't get glue right there, did I? Not enough. I did, but not enough. Okay. Now let's glue our butterfly right there on the top. All right, so that's looking real nice, don't you think? I do think. So I am going to trim this just a little bit here. Okay, now we need to decorate the top. So I have a little piece of coffee dyed cotton that I thought we could put right there on the top because we're going to see it once we get this in here like this we're going to see this part so that's why I would like to decorate the top and I'm going to bring in this color because we have that color right down here so I'm going to put this here thinking maybe I'd like to put that right across the top like that so we're really hanging with this theme of um, I guess you could say matchy matchy but it really pulls it together. It makes it cohesive. You could hodgepodge it up though. It would be just as cute. But for this project, we're making them blend together. All right. Ruffles, frayed edges. I really want them to be out. Okay. So now I'm going to quickly ink this here on camera It'll be very long there it's all that I needed and I'm going to just pull it and pull it okay a little on the edge now I'm going to put some glue on our strip here okay and place it right down here Now I have another butterfly. Of course I have a butterfly, right? And I'm thinking I'm going to pull it down a little bit. You can't pull it down too awful far. You can always judge by putting it back in and seeing how this looks. Okay, I think right on the edge of that printed paper strip, this would be beautiful. So let's go ahead and get this glue on our butterfly and get it applied and put it right down right here oh I'm loving this this is turning out spectacular okay so for our final step what we want to do is you want to get another piece that blends so I chose a dark piece and this is where you're going to take this and you're going to attach it to your page one two three spots 
So you're leaving this spot open to where you can slip this in and slip it out and journal on the back. So what I need to do here is I need to round the corners and I need to ink it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> so using the same printed paper that we used for the tag, for the strips, okay, that is throughout this little project, I made tags. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue the tag right onto this little journaling tag. Glue tags onto the tag. I think maybe right there. Turn it over to the other side. And glue this one. Glue them together. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me guys, just like that. Well, that's looking pretty. Now, I would like to once again bring in some, bring in a butterfly and a little bit of coffee dyed paper. So we have a lighter brown color, and I think maybe that should be next. I think it's going to go this way. I don't know why I like it that way better. I just do. So I'm going to put some glue down here. I'm going to leave a spot between so the brown shows. Oops, sorry for the reach. The brown shows just like that. Now let's see, I'm thinking I want this to be right here and I'm going to go ahead and ink this while we're on camera just to get this finished. There we go. Now which way do I want it? I think I want it kind of in the middle showing brown on both ends. So I'm going to put my glue down and let's get that on there just like that. So all we have are just some strips, strips of your paper, a little tab that you made, and a butterfly. So mm, huh, what happens if you put the butterfly on the tab? No, I don't think we need to do that. I just wanted to see what that looked like. Okay, let's have him coming in. Let's have him coming in off the side there. That's what we need to do. He's flying in off the side. Okay, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this project. And it fits in just like that. Oh my goodness. I love how it turned out. The tag, and you take it out and you open it up. Looks like that. It fits right back in because we put those little, I don't know what to call them, risers. We put the risers in. You guys, I have enjoyed this project so much, and I hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye now. And there's Hanky Panky.